Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to 3D Spa. Uh, today we're going to be trying to figure out how to get the tailstock lined up, get it all corrected with the few different little problems that I've had with it, and go from there. But uh, the first thing, if you can see, is I've already done some work to it. For example, we've already got the, the quick release on there. Instead of having to go in with the wrench and sometimes you can get to, to it and tighten it up. Sometimes it's a little difficult. But anyhow, that's one of the uh, upgrades that I did to it. And it turns out that uh, it wasn't that hard to actually get the hole to drill through it and all and get everything lined up. But I've also had some other issues with it too on trying to get it lined up. The uh, bottom piece didn't want to actually work out correctly. But I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I actually had to go in and drill a hole and get it to, to where the place, plate would actually slide back and forth. Now on the one side, it was already done from the factory side. But, uh, when I kept putting it back in, I wasn't getting it all lined up. So I ended up having to go in and drill the extra wide hole here, or a slot for it, so that the base would actually slide back and forth. The next thing that I had to do is replace this. I had this piece left over from another part that I'd bought uh, for the mini lathe here. So anyhow, I put all of that together. But, what I did notice is that from this one here, if you actually set it up, it tilts quite a bit to one side or the other. Anyhow, and it was just barely hanging on one or two little sides on there. Wasn't doing quite the job it was supposed to do. So anyhow, after doing all of those, getting it lined up and all of that uh, the best that I could, anyhow, I found out that... All I needed to do was change one screw out here that they sent that you couldn't really get in there and tighten it up or anything like that. So anyhow, did a few little minor operations with it. Just so that I could go in there, get it set up, get it aligned, and go from there. So, now man, get this thing back on there. Now, Okay, that one twisted on me, so let's just tighten it up, and let's go again. Okay, now then, we got our tailstock in there, so let's go ahead, and let's put the lab center in. Now, just a couple of days ago, I went in there and I made this tool here. So anyhow, we can sit there. And we can get it to line up pretty decent. This piece here. And there we go. There it is. It's all lined up. Now, let's get this uh, out of the way here. And now you can see that it's running pretty close. So you can actually take and see that I pretty well got it lined up. Okay. But the deal is, is you know that it is lined up. 
when you extend it all the way out. And there you got it. Okay, since uh, getting all of that done, now then, uh, I just replaced the bed. I had a seven by 10 uh, bed on here. And I was running into a lot of issues, not having the room for it and everything else. So I upgraded uh, through a little machine shop and got the 16 inch uh, bed, which allowed me to keep all of my, uh, the tool stock and everything else on here without having to go and try to find it when I'm doing stuff. But what I have noticed is, is that whole bed, is it lined up? Is it working right? So I come up with the thought or suggestion to, or an idea rather, not a suggestion, but an idea on how I could actually test that and see if I've got that taken care of. So what I come up with is a laser bore sight. Just a laser sight for all the different uh, guns and stuff. Anyhow, turn it on and you've got a very small dot. So anyhow, put that in there. And get the alignment tool back in here. And we'll bring it in here and get this laser lined up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm just moving it uh, way too fast. So, anyhow. Oh. Okay, now I gotta go back and do it again. Okay. Yep, I'm having one of those great days today. I can already tell. <laughs> okay, try this again. Okay, there we go. So let's tighten this up just a little bit. Not much though. Okay, back this alignment tool out. Okay, now, if you notice then, you can spin that laser around and it is just real close to being right on dot with all of that. Okay. So in other words, if I would actually take and raise this up a little bit, I would be dead on. But if you take that and put there, you can see that the red dot is actually itself moving. So in other words, if you find the center of that little red dot, that is where you need to actually be focusing on. So in other words, if it goes all the way around real close, I'm probably pretty close to being right on. And if you take and move it in, you can still see the same dot moving around and around. Which means this is pretty well set up to be an almost dead center. Now then, check the bed. See if the bed is actually still lined up too. And now you see, you are just right there dead on all the way around. And it's the full length of the bed. So, 
like I said, there was a few things that I had to go in, check, test, and do a little bit of modifications to the tailstock itself. But the one thing that I did like was just upgrading it and then actually making it so that I could uh, move it in and out. I didn't have to move it up much. I could have moved it up if I wanted to, but I thought, no, it's actually doing pretty decent right where it is. And then using the laser level, the bore sight, to making sure that it was all straight, all the way in, out, back. And also using this little guy, this tool that I made. And that was a tool just to line the quick change post tools. Anyhow, it serves more than just one purpose. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.